You're watching the Fox 5 News at 5. Uh, nearly three weeks, we've seen protests continue here across our country and demonstrations here in San Diego County. Joining us now to talk more about what's happening, also give us some great perspective, inspiration, talk about our frustrations is um, Pastor Miles McPherson. We're talking to you every Saturday, and I so look forward to this. Um, first of all, you've talked a lot about a blind spot. So what is that? How do we, how can we identify that in ourselves? Well, a blind spot. How you doing? Hi, I'm sorry. That was so abrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Thank you. Uh, a blind spot is the uh, is not knowing what you don't know. It's a gap between your intent and your impact. A lot of times we in when we say something to do something, we intend something to happen, but the impact is different. It's like saying, I don't see color. Your intent is to build a bridge, but the impact can be an insult to the person of color because you just told them, you don't see what they are and you don't see the beauty of how God made them. So um, so we have racial blind spots and the things that we say that get us in trouble because we don't know what we don't know. Absolutely. I, I think one of the important things people can do at this time is, and it's a sensitive time. I know people want to say something, but they're scared to say the wrong thing. I 100% get it. Uh, one of the best ways to uh, get over that is to walk in relationship with people and ask what don't i know how can i be how can i you know uh show concern without being offensive and here's what i'm thinking the, the key with all what's going on is relationship uh we have to build relationships with one another and have relationships that have grace involved in them and room for people to make mistakes and you know so people I, I, one of the one of the things that people of color have always said we talk about all the time is that we always have to keep explaining this you know um, this is over the years of talking about race because people have always never believed us right. and now people believe it but it is going to be a learning curve and we're going to have to be patient with people as they learn well i've seen some well many um social media posts public service kind of announcements a lot of the most recent one this morning was with some celebrity saying i take responsibility in whatever that may mean how, what, what advice can you give people who just don't really know how, what to say, um, just about being a good listener or even a good learner in some cases? Well, <clears throat> I think for white people who've not been in the race discussion, for, you know, and it's part of the privilege. I don't, you don't have to be. Right now you have to be. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's acknowledging that you don't know and, and I think that's an acknowledging to your friends, listen, I don't know, help me understand. And if you have a humble attitude, for the most part, people should be receptive to that. Um, and say, listen, I wanna be supportive, I wanna, I wanna be an ally, help me understand what I don't understand and have some very honest conversations. I always say, listen, learn, and love, but mm -hmm. the key has to be love, and it has to be love both ways. Both people on both sides of the of the conversation have to be willing to be patient with each other and walk the journey together. So, um, I, sorry, I, nope. here's another kind of a difficult situation that I know a lot of people are in right now, maybe in their families where they have different opinions and people say things that you find offensive. Yeah. If I say, you know, I take responsibility, do I have a responsibility to call other people out or? Yeah, is there yeah. a way with grace to do that that you're not going to like uh -huh. blow up your whole family 100 percent. and so I, I, we always talk about we're going to talk about this book this i wrote this book actually it came out a year and almost two years ago mm -hmm. and it's designed to give people tools on how to do exactly what we're talking about okay. how to understand your blind spots how to understand forgiveness and how to be your brother's keeper uh, um, and what you're talking about is being your brother or your sister's keeper when someone says something do I have a responsibility to, to correct them? Yes, yes, but often it has to do with what's your relationship with them? How um, how much do you really know about what they said is wrong? Because sometimes people say stuff and you know, you're you not as informed to argue with them. And so you're like, man, I wanna say something, but I don't wanna get in an argument because they know more than me and sure. I may not be informed. But you can say something like, help me understand why that's funny. Help me understand, have you had first-hand experience with a person like that? Mm -hmm. um, is, are you speaking from uh, someone else's story? And, and so you don't really have to win an argument. You almost, you almost want to lead people to, 
this to share what they really know what they really mean because a lot of times people talk about stuff they heard right. or talk about one experience um but I, but i would i would encourage people to really just be willing to engage in a conversation and not feel pressured to win an argument uh, that's so even what even, even when i'm talking to people you know and i've had these discussions since i was a kid um a lot of times you just ask people to continue to ask why and how do you know that and tell me more um i, I don't understand if you just keep asking those questions and let them explain where they're coming from mm -hmm. they'll often will talk themselves into ignorance it, it, because they're like well you know i really don't know and well i really heard and, and then you might say well you know you might want to be careful you know not talking if you don't really know and then leave it at that yeah. make people think about it because not winning an argument is key you don't you don't need to win an argument all right thank you so much love talking now, to you on saturday you're so inspiring i gotta tell you tomorrow okay. tomorrow oh, yes. rock tv nine o'clock on fox we're going to be talking about uh blind spots we're going to be talking about this tomorrow on fox at nine o'clock and a week from today we're having our we pray event where we're asking people to pray all over san diego on the street we have 12 locations and they can go to wepraysandiego.com and get information about that. Love that idea, Miles. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. More details on Rock Your City. It's right here, 9 o'clock on Fox 5, 9 o'clock in the morning.